Have you guys seen Bronco owners on the internet using their trail turn assist to rip donuts in the snow and it looks like a fantastic time? Well, stick around. I'm going to tell you guys why you should not do that. Okay, for starters, let's briefly go over what trail turn assist is. Then we'll get to why you guys should not do that. Don't use it to rip donuts, okay? Okay, for starters, if you look at the Bronco dash up here on top, you're going to see these hero switches, they call them. Basically, these are different features of the Bronco. Now, this being a Badlands, I've got a few features that, and it being an automatic, that maybe some other Broncos don't have. If you look all the way to the right, um, and this only comes on the automatic transmission, the Broncos equipped with the automatic transmission, here's your trail turn assist button. So you'll see, like, basically a pair of axles with a line connecting them, right, a drive line. This is basically an exact representation of a drive line and then you have an arrow going to the right now it can be to the right or the left that's not really important what this feature does is let's say that you're trying to turn really sharp you've got trees on each side and you're trying to turn and you don't have room to back up <clears throat> what you can do is actually press this button and it will essentially use the brake to lock one wheel and create more friction on that side to enable the outside wheel to rotate more to turn you sharper now, if this feature looks familiar to some of you out there, that's because it's been done on tractors forever, since the beginning of uh, tractors being on the market. Some smart person out there somewhere, don't know who, uh, comment below if you know, decided we need a way to get the tractor to turn sharper. So in other words, if I've got the wheel turned fully to the left or right, sometimes if they're caked in mud, the tractor will just keep going straight. So how can we get it to turn? Well, they attached separate brake pedals on tractors so that you can press the left or right brake pedal to enable the tractor to turn left or right by locking one of the wheels. And Ford incorporated this on the Bronco. Genius idea on their part, okay? So why shouldn't you do this, um, you know, to do donuts? Well, for, for starters, that's terrible donut technique, okay? In order to fully commit to a good donut, you need to be on something slippery and you need to have both rear wheels spinning, not just one, because one wheel pill is what we're gonna call it. If you've ever had an open differential vehicle and try to do a donut, you can see that it looks ridiculous, right? Because that inside wheel spinning, the other one's not, okay? So the second reason you shouldn't do that is because you're putting extra strain on your drivetrain, okay? What I mean is anybody that's ever broken a vehicle um, by spinning in the snow and then going onto the pavement, uh, this happens very, very frequently, okay? If you're spinning and you're, you're trying to get back onto the road and you're spinning in the snow and then it catches traction suddenly, it causes a sudden jolt, jolt to everything in your driveline, and that can cause your vehicle to actually uh, break because of that sudden strain, okay? Now, you're doing the same thing in the Bronco when you've got trail turn assist on and you're trying to rip donuts. First of all, you're not doing a donut, but second of all, your tire at, at all times is on uh, constantly variable terrain. It's in the mud, on a rock, back in the mud, on a rock, in the grass, whatever, and you're just going around in a circle. So eventually, if that thing bites hard enough, it could potentially break something. Not to mention you're creating extra strain on your brakes because the faster that other wheel is spinning, the more strain on the brake to keep that wheel locked, okay? So whenever you use the trail turn feature and that com the computer locks that, that wheel down or that side of the axle, the faster that your open differential spinning, the more strain on the, uh, you know, the opposing side, we're going to say. So that is definitely why it's not my recommendation to use the trail turn assist to do donuts, even though it looks fun. Um, it is, you know, to us car guys, it does kind of look ridiculous. Uh, but don't tear up your Bronco by doing that. Get on a slippery service, lock the differential, and fully commit to your donuts.